Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we can-can, we can-can, and we will talk about celebrities all righty good or bad or indifferent they get talked about but tonight we're going to be talking about uh love and marriage season one episode five did i do that and yes we're talking about uh monique coming back from her trip from africa and she's you know talking about they still are in a strange unfamiliar place meaning her and her husband i'm like Ah, oh, Carlos King, Carlos King, Carlos King. Because I really feel that their whole storyline is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Total bullshit. <sighs> I'm like, y'all need something else other than saying y'all have a marital problem. Because even when you were on, um, what is it, um, the uh, Housewives of Platonic, you were with the same storyline. Marriage is in trouble. You don't like your husband's mother. That side of the family. So I'm, I'm going to need Monique to pull up and give us something else a little bit more concrete other than she's having marital problems. Don't want to hear it's played out moving on. Well, we got um, Ashley, not Ashley, um, Winter and Irene are having lunch together and she goes in to talk about her husband. Her husband might be cheating. She ain't never caught her husband cheating. I'm like, oh my goodness. I've heard the rumors. Yes, it's been rumors, but I never caught him. Like, I would call him when he's supposed to be coming home and time had passed and I'm wondering where he is and I had called him something. He fell asleep at the stoplight. I'm like, girl, it right on. Just because you want to be stupid and stay in Stupidville with your so-called husband, girl. You should have left and stayed gone and got with somebody that really appreciated your talents. Because you seem like you're a beautiful woman inside and out. But you just make too many excuses for how Jamie treats you. Jamie treats you like total trash. Okay? We had that scene where um, they were going somewhere. And they were looking at some property that they owned. That they, I guess they were trying to flip <coughs> and try to resell it. But Jamie, you know... He's talking about he's always in that area. But I'm like, okay, if you're already in that area, always in that area, why aren't you checking on your property? Why does it look like an abandoned building that really needs to be torn down for it to be made back up? Because I don't see what they really could do with that house that they were looking at. I'm like, child, please. They look like several homeless people had been there and did whatever they wanted to do. I'm like, are you supposed to be a, 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 a flipper house type guy? I mean, he was just stupid. He'll stay stupid. He just stuck on stupid. Jamie is too arrogant. I don't know who boasted him or put him up on a pedestal, but somebody need to take the chair from under him and let him fall all the way down. Okay? All the way down. And Irina had alluded to she had left him several times in the past, but she always coming back. I said, because you're a battered woman. He has mentally abused you to where you don't know no better. I mean, yes, you have an autistic son. Uh, and you have a daughter, and you have another son, all right? And you could have made it by yourself. Plenty of women do it all the time, and then they still have love. They end up with another man that's better than Jamie, because Jamie's going to always take all his frustrations on you because he's lack thereof himself. He don't love about self. And, you know, of course, the major thing you're going to get when you hanging with a narcissist like Jamie He's going to always blame you. Even when he knows it's him, he's going to put it on you. That's what he projects. And if you continue to live in that life, you're going to always be subjected to feeling bad, feeling depressed, having anxiety, because you don't know if you should say this around him or he's going to go off. That's bullshit. There's too much PSA information out here about domestic violence, whether it be physical or mental. 
I need my women and my men to pull up. If you're in a situation like that, you need to get out. Don't make excuses for the other person's behavior towards you. Just get out, okay? Or live with the consequences, you know? And don't complain to nobody. Ah, but anyway, like I said, they went over to the house that they were supposed to be, you know, uh, trying to get the house to be sale or whatnot. But like I said, it was a hot mess. It was a, a very boring story because it's like uh, he had wanted, he had his feet up in the air like he wanted to kick um, Raina. He was like in her face and pushing on her. I'm like, man, you see what you're doing? I ain't like none of his behavior. I'm like, call the cops. Call call, call somebody, okay? Call the Lord and help him fix that situation. But even if the Lord pointed you out the situation, you'll still stay in it. That's how dumb Re uh, Re what a rainer is. Oh, she got on my nerve. I'm like, girl, you see all the signs. You know what he's doing to you. It's some narcissistic type behavior. And you still stay in it. Like, you ain't going to get nobody better than him. I'm like, it's better to be alone than with a man like him always dogging you, always talking about you in a bad way, always yelling at you. I mean, come on. Let's get it together. But anyway, he don't do nothing with the property, really. He's talking about he going to check on it, this, that, and the third. He ain't going to do shit. He's going to continue to do what he want to do and this, that, and the third. And right, you, you wrong. You're so wrong about missing your... Uh, what do you call it? Your uh girlfriend's birthday party. For one, you should have been over at that birthday party and just came late to Winter's or, or, or Ashley's event she was having. So you ain't no really good friend to that friend you were saying you were trying to go to her party that they were having at your husband's establishment. See, that's bullshit one-on-one. -on -one. I would just struck you down after that. You couldn't say shit to me because you should have been there. You should have spent a little quality time with your so-called best friend and then with the, went to those shenanigans where um, Ashley was and invited you girls too. But I'm like, Ashley even told you to your face. She don't consider you no friend. So why were you there in the first place? Itch. Okay. But anyway, moving on from that scene, we had a scene with, uh, let's stay in Jamie's land, where his son, artistic son, is trying to tell him, look, man, he didn't say it like that, but you know. He pretty much wanted to say it like that. That he want his own thing. He don't want to be no DJ. He don't want to get into your dreams of what you think he should be and should be doing with his life. He wanted to be, uh, basically, I don't know what he said. He wanted to work for Apple. Uh, but I don't know where he was going with that. And they went over and played some kind of game for the blind people to show you what type of life they live on a daily basis and what we take for granted when we have our sight. And that was a very good PSA announcement to let us be socially aware of how blind people really do uh, have to, you know, their deficits and what they have to go through. And if you're not sensitive to those uh, type of people and their issues, then you pretty much miss the boat. You're not even human. But uh, he was trying to get in this program where... People like him uh, stay in such, like a, um, a residential area where they are living on their own. But they're still trying to uh, do normal things that, you know, normal human beings take for granted. And to me, because my cousin has an autistic child like that. And um, she had him in one of those programs when he was like maybe five or six, seven years old, uh, trying to help himself. And as he graduated going forward. It was a little more advanced, but like I said, she's always had him in those type of programs around special needs people like him. So they can kind of learn off each other or whatnot. But I was very surprised that he ran him by her seemingly like she's a good hands-on mom. Why she didn't put him in that program in the first place? He could have been ungraduated up to that time and been in that program and doing his own thing, living his own life, working a job uh, related to his or designed to his uh, needs. But I was like, Ugh. see, Ryan, you pay too much time to your husband than your family, girl, many of your children, and making sure they're good. <sighs> but anyway, all for her. I don't want to talk about her no more. Damn sure I don't want to talk about Jamie because he's just a... I don't know. He, I don't like him. I just don't like him. I don't like his mannerisms. I don't like his uh, comings and goings or how he talks to people. I mean, he's always too boisterous, you know, too voiceful and just too strong and aggressive for anybody to 
you know, be wanting to listen to him. I had times you didn't want to slap him outside his head, okay? And throw him out and, and never speak to him again. But, you know, hey, I guess men have to get women like that and they, they fine with it. But mm -mm, he, my, I love my piece too much. I love my piece too much. But anyway, um, moving from that situation, who have we got? I got to say, Winter, for me, is my MV player of the night because she was down on all them itches, okay? They were coming over at her left and right, left and right, especially Raina. Talking about, oh, she talking about my husband. I'm like, girl, more people need to talk to you about your husband so they'll tell you what's going on with your husband while he's behind your back doing what he's doing, okay? But her and Ash, uh, Irina and Ashley are two dumbass women. I'm telling I'm sorry. I know y'all won't probably get on me, but I can't stand to see two intelligent, well-spoken people act dumb as hell when it comes to a man. And she know quick, it's probably she know her. They said the streets of uh, about, I mean, uh, the DMV, they be riding. They be riding for quick signal. Cause he, that's why he quick, because he come quick, probably, in those sexual type of stances. <laughs> but anyway, short little fella, um, Winter was trying to tell Ashley, hey, your shit ain't good either, because what these streets in um and D.C. saying, he running out around you, girl. He is running out and around you. And, of course, um, Ashley got upset. She started yelling and hollering. and said, well, you got to do all that. And you know she's talking about your husband. Because you, you, know, you have a good feeling as a woman. Some ain't right, some ain't going down. And then Raina and Ashley are just dumbass women, okay? They want to hear it and they want to hopefully they catch her but then they don't want to catch her. you know what i'm saying it's like you want to get this information about your husband but then you won't believe it when somebody give it to you and it could be in black and white it could be photo picture colorful picture perfect and you still would make excuses for them so i was like uh -uh, that's too much too much can't deal with them two women so you can always try to erase a brain or talk bad tell her oh uh, erase her. she had to go after Raina, night, Raina told uh, Winter she had to go after Monique came in and was talking to the girl separate before Winter came in about what's happened, what's going on with y'all, da 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 And uh, Monique was basically stirring the pot. She was trying to say, well, Winter said this, that, and the third about y'all now. Why y'all get on her? And why she know so much about y'all husband, this, that, that? And they were, like, totally taken aback, meaning Ashley and Right about what you mean, she our husband did that. We talk about that, so oh, so she got him riled up. And about the time winter came to the event that she was having, which I, I didn't understand what, what event they would have. I don't know, it's positive black moms or something like that. Shit, I don't know, but it wasn't making no, it wasn't making no sense that they ain't have no good turnout, okay. I mean, you just like to just pull these people out the streets and just smile and look uh, uh, good, and that's all we need y'all to do. I like, girl, that ain't no steak. Fuckery, foolishness, fraudulent behavior of a scene. I was like, uh, uh, I can't take it on moment. Don't give it to me, okay? But um, yeah, winter came, and to me, she she had to just um uh, put put all them uh, women, them itches in their place. She said, yeah, I said it this way. Yeah, I said it because you said it. I was like, okay, okay, winter, go on and straighten these heifers out, okay, girl. You got three on you. Monique started the shit, and you shut them all down. You just started with Monique, and you shut Ashley down, and you shut Raina down. You ready to go. <laughs> oh, Lord. So you, you didn't really have to throw Winter out. She had came, served, and uh, left, pretty much, okay? She came, she saw, she conquered, and she didn't have no other way or no other reason to beat us. So she's like, yeah, put me out, because I don't need my damage. I got both of y'all itches upset, and y'all going to be sitting around here while I'm gone, you know, where I'm going to go after this event, home probably. But, baby, y'all still going to be filming, and y'all still going to be trying to make sense out of what I just did to y'all, and y'all going to feel like, shit, okay, I done my job professionally. Okay, bye-bye. So that's why I said she came, she saw, and she conquered, okay? And let's see else. What, what else was going on with this scene? So Carlos King, he does have a, a, a good tool under his bed, bed, uh, belt where he's uh, making all of these uh, black shows and filming the day-to-day the -day life. I just hate it that they're doing the same thing that they did over Bravo. He's doing the same thing over here on, which is making black women fight against each other. 
on some non bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Actually, if we had a problem with the stock trading or you telling me how to invest my money this, that, and third, and then I had to get on your ass because I lost half of it. You know, stuff like that. I get tired of seeing women being catty toward each other. And it's always about they man cheating. Uh, he got an outside baby or he worked too much. You know, I, that's so drawn out. And I call this kid, give us something a little bit more better, baby. Uh, give us something a little bit more better. We don't need the ratchetness out there. We can have a little ratchetness here on the side, but we need to see full-blown uh, black women doing their darn thing and not being catty or towards their husbands about, they ain't doing this, they ain't doing that. He don't make me feel this way. Why he can't? You know, just all that kind of shit. And I, I, I know I'm tired of... Uh, Monique, but since she's supposed to be your ace boon coon, your lead lady for uh, what we call it, love and marriage DC, I get it, got it, and I'm gone on that situation. Okay, but yeah, honey, I was like, mm -mm. Monique know how to stir up trouble and then want to uh, hide her hands. So, I mean, that's what her playing part is for this uh, season in this show. And like I said, she tried to do the same thing at Potomac, but you know, Karen Hoover. We're going to have it. <laughs> and Giselle Bryant was like, oh, no, no, not ma'am. We we the stars over here. Not you. And then we had dumbass Ash. What was her name? Ashley? No, her name was Ashley. What was that uh, light-skinned girl name? Uh, she's white. She's biracial. God, I can't think of her name. But I know it was Karen, Giselle. Uh, at, that was it, Ashley? I can't. Because she was married to one. So it might have been Ashley, I can't think at this time. And uh, shit, I don't know who else was on the show. But, you know, they had already named who they wanted to be the main characters. So I knew it wasn't going to be long before uh, uh, Monique would get out of it. Because Candace wasn't worth the two cents. I think I stopped watching it when she came on. Well, it might have been with Monique. Because, uh, again, like I said, she was having marital issues then. So... That's all I pretty much had that I can think about, y'all, that uh, pretty much focused on what happened in these episodes. Because we didn't see Quick, which was Ashley's husband. We just saw more of her. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because Winter don't really, I don't guess they're really going to show Kevin, which is Winter's soon-to-be ex-husband. Because he didn't really have a real role in the show. And I guess he was kind of boring. So we didn't really see him since season two. I mean, um, season one, episode two, I believe it was. Where they start talking about him and what he was doing with the money situation. Yeah, it was, it was episode one or two. I can't remember. But um, that was it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed my recap on Love and Marriage season one, episode five. Did I do that? Because I, I was like, I was loving winter. I was like, girl, shut that shit down, girl. Take them all on. Take them all on, girl. Take them all on. So she was my MVP player of tonight. Maybe it'll be different next Saturday. But we'll look and see. But I don't have nothing to say about you, right now. And uh, Ashley positive. Like, y'all do the stereotypical thing. Y'all always want to jump on the woman when they try to bring food to your table to eat. You don't never want to set the man straight, but get on the man about his infidelities, his short-sighting, his flaws. You know what I'm saying? I always want to be on the woman. But anyway, I'll see y'all next video. Take care.